Oh, like it's it will start seconds later. Mm. Okay. Right, What's up, everybody? My name is Jared Weathers, and welcome back to the Weathers Media Podcast. And today we have a lot to talk about. But first, obviously, I have to introduce my co-host, Aaron Ahmed. Aaron, how are you today? I'm doing absolutely great. I went double or nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, and today we have joining us Derek Wilson. Derek, how are you today? Good. Awesome. All right, let's get into this. So, we have a lot of national news to get into, so we're going to start with that. Yes. So, a question I want to pose to both of you. We'll start with Aaron, and then we'll go to Derek, and then we'll get my opinion on it. Aaron, do you think states are reopening too early? I honestly do think so, because, you know, obviously with the coronavirus... And it's it's a new it's a new virus, you know. There's no immunity to it. There's sure. no there's no vaccine for it. There's no really prevention for it. Besides, even like sometimes staying home isn't really preventing people to get it. Very true. So I, I feel that there the the nation is starting to open too soon because they're thinking, hey, we need to get money going again back the way it was when they're thinking with their egos and not their brains right i agree um derek did you hear about the two pool parties that happened over the weekend and everyone got coronavirus at yes so do, do you think the states are reopening too early yes because um i overheard my mom called me that the mall is opening tomorrow, and yep. and I'm like, that's so stupid. Why are they reopening too early? But if they get this vaccine out to everybody, it would be more better. They're, than, they're not going to get the vaccine out for another year. Maybe. Yeah. It, it takes a long time to get a vaccine made. Yeah. So... Um, I, I obviously agree with you guys. Um, I feel like all the states are reopening too early, especially Florida. Uh, if you guys seen the Florida beaches are just insane with people right now. Uh, Yeah. And they are not, they're not, they're like, they're too close to everybody. There's there. No one's wearing a mask. No one's being protective of themselves and other people. This is going to be bad. They don't care. No, they don't care. And that's, that's, that's the problem. They don't care. People, people think they're invincible yeah. and think they can do whatever the hell they want and have yeah. no repercussions. Yeah. Karma's a bitch and Rona's gonna get you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just saying, man. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start with Derek for the second question and then we'll go to Aaron and then we'll get my opinion. Alright. Derek, do you think churches should be considered essential? That's one part of the question, so answer that part first. Um, I don't think so, no. <coughs> Holy shit. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, Aaron, do you think churches should be essential? No, because people can, who are religious can pray in their homes Very and true. worship from home. They, they don't need to go to a building... With a crowded with with crowded areas with no social distancing, yeah, they they can just do that at home. You know, it's 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 common sense. Exactly. You know what? I'm actually going to. I'm actually okay. So me not being religious, this is gonna be this is gonna sound really weird. <laughs> but I think they should be considered essential. I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you why. Do not. Don't don't hit me with the bat yet. Okay. If they're considered essential businesses, then that means that they can be taxed as a business. Hmm. See that? See that yeah. logic? Yeah. Anyway, I never thought of it like that. Right? So if they're essential business, then that means that they're a business which means they're no longer a religious entity which means they can pay taxes just like the rest of us (sighs) anyway 
Uh, I, I, I don't want to get too into that because then I'm going to go off on this rant about how religion is stupid. Anyway, so, well, um, if, if you want to, if I'm pretty sure you made a video about that. I actually think I made two of them. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. So go go check out the Jared Weathers official channel right. and watch his, watch his vlogs. Yep. Yes. Watch, watch all my rants. Uh, they should be in a playlist. Especially Maybe. Lucky Day is a scam. That's the oh, best yeah. one. Yeah, his, oh, yeah, Jared's rants are pretty good. So go check it out. Especially my swearing one. Check that one out because that one is yeah. getting a lot more views. So also check out Dust Off the Mic. Yeah, check out I Dust Off it. the Mic. Yeah, I the new diss track. From... I seen it. Derek, what did you think of that? It's pretty. It's pretty dope, man. It's pretty dope. Thank you. It's you short can... and sweet. It is. It gets mm. right to the point. Like, I reference like, Michigan in like, it. Like, like candy. Mm. Hey, man. Candy. It's just to. Sweet. Anyway, uh, so did you guys hear about the Criminal Minds uh thing going on right now? I I I kind of like skimmed, like I I was on Google not too long ago and I saw something about Criminal Minds and funny funny thing this morning I was watching Criminal Minds <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> uh, Derek, have you have, have you seen anything about it? No. All right, well, let me tell you the story. So, from what I got uh, from the two articles that I read, the director of photography for the Criminal Mind show uh, was sexually harassing men and getting them fired from the show. All right. So, uh, California, the state of California is suing Criminal Mind, CBS, and Disney, ABC, Everyone involved with Criminal Minds, they are suing everybody because they're claiming that Disney, which is the parent company of CBS and uh, ABC and, you know, who owns Criminal Minds. Disney, Disney owns everything. Pretty it's much. Just, just get yeah. that out of the way. Uh, because they're saying that Disney is uh, helping the, the, I don't know his name, John, I don't know, oh, something. Uh mm -hmm. They're trying to, um, you know, protect him and kind of keep everything under wraps. Uh, so that that is a huge story that I saw. I just, I thought that was insane. All right, that is crazy. They're protecting a person who is I is accused of it. You know, obviously guilty of proven innocent. But what if you read the story, it's like ah. I kind of believe this is true because it happens all the time. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's we'll we'll, we'll keep everyone informed on that um, as that progresses. Uh, mm -hmm. Eminem sent out his phone number on Twitter and Instagram, which is going to be the title of this episode. <laughs> it's just going to be his phone yeah. number. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's, okay. That's, that's, that's crazy. Well, okay, so the, the reason why he did it was, um, you know, it's the 20th anniversary of the mm -hmm. Marshall Mathers LP1. That's 20 years. That's crazy. So, I... apparently, now this is just what I read. I'm not sure if this is true. But apparently, um, I think Eminem is going to do a live stream and react to his old songs on that album. Huh. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure that's what I read. That's going to be that's going to be really interesting to see. But also if you text him you get updates for his tours and everything all his albums and everything like that. Oh sweet, hmm. I should text him. So <laughs> check I mean, everyone check that out. Yeah. Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> that Eminem. That like yeah. Eminem is the last person I would think that would get an Instagram account, really, because he's he's like no 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 disrespect to the to him, but he's like a very private person sometimes. He is. I mean, like the, the only re the only way that he really uses it is to, I mean, really do something like this, like to promote his own music and uh, yeah. to kind of like play with people, you know. Like it's not really a he's not really a social person, right? 
No, and like, there's nothing wrong with not being a social person. No. That's that's just how he is. It's right. always how he's always been. See, we, we we just choose to be in in the public eye because we're narcissists. So <laughs> we're lo- we're all Lex <laughs> Luger. <laughs> The narcissist. I hated that when I heard Bobby the Brain say, he didn't say that. I'm like, no, that's not how you say narcissist. <laughs> you said idiot. It. He said it too many times. The narcissist. What? Narcissist. What the fuck is a narcissist? <laughs> what is that? Anyway. Uh, no disrespect to the late great Bobby Heenan. No, he was great. Um, ain't calling the brain for nothing. <laughs> so the UFC. Might actually use their island, Aaron. I want to get your thoughts on UFC's, I don't know, Mortal Kombat like island that they bought. <laughs> this is an interesting concept. I, I don't know. I'm pretty. I, I kind of want to see where it goes. You know. Yeah. I, I, I wonder I, how they're going to do that for like pay per views and stuff. Right. Like, are they going to film it? Like, kind of like. The stadium stampede match, you know, st- stuff like that, you know, but with U- but with UFC elements in it, I think that would be really cool to see. Uh, Derek, are are you kind of hoping that UFC puts on the first Mortal Kombat tournament? I haven't heard of that before. Oh no! No. Oh man, it's huge news. You uh, Dana White bought an island for so the UFC fighters can fight on it. Oh, nice. I don't know. I don't know why he would do that, but whatever. Uh, uh, it's, it's it's Dana White. He's insane. Uh, <laughs> he's a badass. Uh, um, so did you guys hear about Sunny? Um, I heard her. Yeah, she uh, made some horrible remarks. Yeah, Derek. Hey, hey, hey. The latest, um, Hana Kimura, who tragically passed away to suicide. Well, they didn't rule it. They didn't say the cause of death, but we all know. It's, it's suicide. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, her tweet, or, yeah. Yeah, tweet. I, I, I didn't read the whole tweet. I kind of, like, watched a glimpse of it from uh, Cultaholic. Mm-hmm. They they did a video on it, I believe. And, oh, uh, Rustock also did a video on it. That's, what, that's why I saw it. Yeah. Um. Uh, respect for Sonny was gone a long time ago, and yep. this just takes the damn cake. Yep. Uh, like, with when when it when it comes to uh, online bullying and even like in person bullying, everyone has a different receptive. Everyone reacts to it differently. Right. So like. It only takes one little move for someone to snap like that. True. Mm-hmm. And Hanukkah, um, I've never really watched her wrestle. I've seen highlights of her wrestle. Mm. She was good. Yeah. She was only twenty. She was only twenty-two. Yeah, but what, her mom was a wrestler, so she's you know. Yeah. Um, um, gifted. Yeah, and she was a. She was a great wrestler, great talent. I believe she was going to sign with AEW, too. Oh, really? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't hear that, but... Well, like, I, I could, like, eventually in the near future. Because, oh, like, sure. she, knew, she knew people from AEW, and she had good connections with right. AEW. So, I, I feel like if, you know, she was still alive, I, I would love to see her in AEW. That'd be I interesting. Would have loved, that would have been... But, um, sadly... Uh, we won't be able to see that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after after what Sonny said, that's horrible and disgusting. I just. Uh, Derek, did you see what Asuka said after it came out that Hana Kimura killed herself? No. Speaking of um, people passing away, um, I know this is off topic, but rest in peace to. Chad Gaspar, rest in peace. Rest in peace to him. Yep, we 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 did that last week. Yep. Well, yep. we covered we covered Chad Gaspar. Okay. Uh, um. So Oscar came out. Um, I think it was like the next day or something, and uh, 
said that she was talking about her own experience getting, you know, cyberbullied and, uh, you know, getting death threats and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, honestly, like, it's it's really sad to hear someone. I, I, I don't care for Asuka's character. Never really have. But you can't deny that she's a good in-ring talent. She's a great talent and a great and a great person out of the ring too. Yes, um, she does so, a lot for her fans. Right, I can't I can't say that she's a bad wrestler. I just I don't like the character that she has. Her mannerisms are kind of off in the ring, but again, yeah. that's her character, and I I don't care for it. All right. Uh, so yeah, so we're moving on. Uh, Deanna Peraza joined Impact Wrestling. I don't know if that's really news or anything, but, you know, good for I'm her. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> go. Golf clap, I guess. I, yeah, no. Yeah, sure. No. Uh, so, apparently... I mean, she, she's, she's, she's a great talent. So, I, she's I a great... Um, so, apparently, uh, I got word from Jason, uh, who is not here today, uh, that, uh, FTR, as I guess they're currently being known, uh, mm-hmm. are debuting on AEW tonight. Yep, tonight. So, yep, that's that's what he said. Hmm. So yeah. you know, good for them. Um, well, good thing I have TNT now. <laughs> yeah, uh, Matt Riddle uh, moving to SmackDown uh, because him and Brock have had some issues on Raw. Um, you know, with Riddle saying that he wants to re- retire Lesnar. Uh, Lesnar didn't like it. He had to move back. He had to get moved back to the later part of the Rumble, where Bro- after Brock Lesnar got out. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, which was a smart decision to do. Yeah, because yeah. like, um, you you know if if they would have allowed Riddle to go when he was supposed to go out, Lesnar would have definitely took a shot at him and would not care. Oh, definitely, definitely. I'd I, probably I, say something like "Welcome to the business, bitch." Yeah, <laughs> Suplex <laughs> City, bitch. <laughs> Suplex. Oh, but yeah, uh, so tonight, or uh, I believe it's happening right now, as we speak, or later. Uh, Matt Riddle and Timothy Thatcher in a steel cage match on NXT. Yep, and that's going to be his official last match on NXT. Which I think is a weird way to go out of NXT. I I don't know, but Matt Riddle on SmackDown. Yeah. Interesting. I would love to see I uh, honestly I would love to see Matt Riddle and Rob Van Dam in a tag team. That'd be amazing. Hi, Hi bros. Hi bros. Um <laughs> all right, so AEW Double or Nothing review. Um, I didn't see the buy-in, so I don't know what happened um, in that match. Aaron, do you want to take it up, over? That match uh, was sloppy. It wasn't yeah. the best. Uh, they weren't. They there were there were points in the match where they communicated great, and then it kind of fell off. So it was like one step or two steps back, basically. Um, best friends won, so they're the. Uh, Number one contenders for the tag team titles, who which are held by Hangman Adam Page and the cleaner Kenny Omega. That's right. Yeah. Um. All right. But, so, um, yeah, the the buy in was yeah. It wasn't a bad match. It was okay. It was a good way to start it, I guess. But it, but it, but it was definitely sloppy. Yeah, like I mean, there there were some elements obviously that were good, but you know, then they got yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, so the first official match on AEW Double or Nothing, which I thought this was going to be the buy-in, um, mm-hmm. is the Casino Ladder Match for a future AEW World Championship match. I love uh, this. So this match had Darby Allin, Cole Cabana, Orange Cassidy, Joey Janela, Scorpio Sky, Kip Sabian, uh, with Jimmy Havoc and Penelope Ford, uh, Frankie Kazarian and Luchasaurus with a, ooh, a, a mystery opponent who turned out to be Brian Cage. Oof. Um with Taz for some reason. Like, what, why is Taz um, and Ryan Cage? So, I don't okay, know. so on uh, on AEW, like a few weeks, or like two weeks or so prior, Taz was trying to recruit Darby Allen, mm-hmm. and Darby Allen basically refused, so this was Taz's re- way of revenge, being like, hey, Darby, because uh, 
as we'll get into it, you know, how Darby Allen was the last one to face Cage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically a way like, hey, should have listened to me, kid. Right. Should have listened to me and stuck with me. Oh, I like Brian Cage. He's awesome. He's he's a roid freak. <laughs> he's 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 good, but I think the story they're telling is is an old one. I mean, you know, big guy comes in and ruins everybody. Uh, they do their Brock Lesnar all the time. Uh, the, uh yeah. oh, a way, a weird way. They they did a nod to uh, Kane's debut when Kane debuted. He ripped the door off the Hell in a Cell back at Bad Blood, nineteen ninety seven. Uh, when you saw Cage come out, he ripped the ladder, the gimmick ladder, in half. Five and oh yeah. <laughs> so that that was a cool way to kind of. S- send a nod to Kane, I guess. Um, but uh, I I loved how it started with Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian. Yeah, me too. Oh, a, a weird a weird way to start it. There was one Is spot. It I mean, it was kind of predictable, I guess. Like yeah, like they're they're friends. Um, yeah. you know, it, it 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 started off light, and then as more people got in, that it, it, you know, kind of. Their their chain wrestling was perfect. I, yeah. I enjoyed their they yeah they're attacking but I feel like if they were put in a one on one match five stars definitely, oh, definitely. They're, they're both great talent. Uh, I did like though how uh, Darby Allen came in mm-hmm. and uh, he had Frank Kazarian over the ladder when he got oh his skateboard oh my God. That, climbed the ladder and yeah. just dropped. I that was amazing. Loved it. Um. I was, when I was watching with my dad, he's like, he saw him climb up, and he's like, he's not gonna do it. I'm like, Dad, just watch. <laughs> and, uh, and oh did. my god! I when I first watched it, I cringed because I was like, oh my god, no! He, bro- I thought he broke his ankle or something. That you have to be Darby Allen crazy <laughs> to do oh, something. Darby Allen, honestly, uh. Spots wise and risk taking wise, he's the new Jeff Hardy. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Exactly. He he reminds me of Jeff Hardy. Yeah, he's not yeah. built like Jeff, but he damn well acts like Jeff. Yeah. Crazy. Um, I also like when Orange Cassidy came out and he went over <laughs> to the, to the <laughs> uh, commentators. He's like, so how, so how do I win this? You you got you got to climb a ladder. Oh. And, and then he, he's. I, I love Orange Cassidy. Uh, not not a lot of people not a lot of people do because his gimmick is lazy. Right. I I love his lazy gimmick. It's, I love I love when he's stood on a ladder and he's like trying to reach for it. He's like, oh, no, well, can't do that. Oh, yeah. Or like <laughs> during the, during like the the pre match promos, he was <laughs> he set the ladder on its side and he's like, yeah. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep, I'm ready. Got so, it. People hate Orange Cassidy, huh? Oh yeah. Uh, Jim Cornette does not like his gimmick. Jim Cornette <laughs> can shove it up his ass. <laughs> you, you gotta admit, Jim Cornette's old school. So yeah. Yeah, not... too old school. At this point, he's Vince McMahon. Exactly. Yeah. Look, look, I I love Corny. I do. You know, obviously, because you know my character is pretty much you know it's part of him. But he has to stop thinking like this is the 70s and 80s again. It's not. This is a new age of wrestling. You can be mad at the spot monkeys and the, and the orange casties of the world. Or you can just fucking like it and enjoy it and shut the fuck up. Like, I don't, I don't care. All right? If, if he wants to come on here and debate me about it, I will debate him till the sun dies. I like orange right. Cassidy. He's funny. I, I love Orange Cassidy. Um, I think once like he gets in the groove and like stops his lazy gimmick and actually like wrestles, he's great. Um, there, there was a guy in this match that is a dinosaur. Which he is a dinosaur. I I love I love the spot where Orange Cassidy wants to choke slam. Uh, Luchasaurus, Luchasaurus <laughs> is like, no, dude, you're not doing this. And, and then Marco Stunt comes and then out. And then Orange, 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 Orange Cassidy backed off. And then Marco Stunt comes out with that little ladder. And then, bro, that, that heat-seeking missile from 
Marco stunt. Oh, oh man. He's small as hell, but he is good. <laughs> Bro, I still remember a couple years ago uh, when we were watching uh, All In. You're like, who, yeah, is, the... who is this short fox? <laughs> like, what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> who is this? <laughs> who is this teenager? Exactly. So I funny. Well, oh, because oh, he was standing in the middle of the ring doing the, uh, I don't know, the floss, I guess, or whatever the fuck. And, uh, no, I, uh, he, was, he was staring out with Bully Ray. Yeah, he, he did that. He did that a lot, though, in that match. <laughs> Even yeah. Bully Ray are like, he's like, oh, <laughs> looking up at a boy. Ray's like, what the shit? And Spike, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> he took a lot of bumps in that match. Yeah, dude, I thought he died at one point. I'm like, Jesus, did he go through a table? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my it's, God. It's... Yeah. But right. um, um, I, I love this match. There were so many great parts of the match. Joey Janela, man. Oh, Joey Janela. I love Joey Janela. He was Janella. everywhere. He was everywhere in this match. He he didn't, like, he first ran out, did that somersault plancha, yeah. and then, you know, oh, man. I was rooting for Joey Janela, honestly. Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Me I too. Yeah, Mystery Man was going to be Drew Gulak, but hey, it's Brian Cage, not not bad. Um, um, Brian Cage wins his AEW debut. Yep, yep, he won. That, that was his debut, and he he took down the I, the chip. Honestly, when when I first when I first was watching it live, I when I saw him win, I'm like, he's going to cash it in right away. He's going to after the Brody Lee John Moxley match, he's going to come out and be like, all right, give me my damn title shot right now. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what I was thinking, too. I, I honestly thought that was going to happen. I'm like, oh, great, Moxley's title reign's over. <laughs> <laughs> at, um, the, at the next pay-per-view, they just announced that John Moxley and Brian Cage are going to be having a title shot. Well, that's not until September, so. Yeah. yeah that's, that's not. Um, it's still build up. So, Aaron, what would you grade this match? Four and a half out of five, definitely. Why four and a half? It was, it, it, huh? Why four and a half? You know, screw it. Five stars. Five stars out of five. That's right. Five stars <laughs> for me, it was, too. It was a great way to open Double or Nothing. Oh. Uh, the concept of it, too, the casino, the way they first went two, and it comes out like a Royal Rumble, and then you have a ladder match when I, lo- I loved it. At first, yeah. I thought I was confused about it because I'm like, how is this gonna work? And then when I watch it, I'm like, all right, I can I can deal. All right. Uh, next we have MJF with Wardlow def- uh, versus Jungle Boy. Um, I love Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy Jack, great, great, he's a great wrestler. But I was really rooting for MJF in this match. I like MJF. Yeah, I. It's a good heel. I think. He's he's honestly the best heel right now in, in AEW. Yeah. And the the thing I was really surprised Wardlow did not get involved in this match at all. No, he took MJF's like jacket exactly. and scarf took, and walked to the back. Yeah, he took his ring, his scarf, his uh, or no, he didn't wear a scarf. No, he didn't. No, he he just wore that that uh, jacket. Oh yeah, and he had his rings, his ring. Yeah, his we pink. took all that and yeah. just walked to the back and did yeah. not get involved. Was MJ? Yeah, like I, was MJ? Was in the inner circle, right? No, MJ. No. He was. I, I guess he was technically part of the elite for a little bit, but then he got. Then he, you know, turned on Cody and yeah, and that perfect heel turn against Cody. <laughs> okay, okay. Can you call it a heel turn when he's already heel? True. I mean, now, he, he turned on Cody, but he well, it wasn't a heel turn because he was already a heel. Oh yeah, he was already. Yeah. I think I, he I was, think he, he, did, he just turned on Cody. Cody. He was trying to persuade Cody to turn heel. Yeah, yeah. never happened. And Cody, Cody wasn't having that man. <laughs> Cody, Cody looks at MJF. You were supposed to bring Brails to the elite. <laughs> 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 I. I really loved this match. Um, Me too. It was great. I, 
the ending. I'm so, like the way the way it ended, how MJF won clean. Yeah, I did. I didn't. I didn't like that part. I'm I'm surprised he won clean. Boy, but that pin that pin though was beautiful. Yeah, it was. It just I I I really feel like Wardlow should have got involved. Yeah, I was hoping eventually like he would come out and do something. Yeah. But I uh, mean, four and a half stars for me, Aaron. What do you rate this? Yeah, four and a half stars is a great, um, great way just, to keep just things that, going. That, that that clean pin didn't like yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, um, next match: Cody with Arn Anderson def- uh, versus Lar- Lance Ar- Lan- G- 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 versus Lance Archer with Jake the Snake Roberts. I I'm surprised this match went on third. Really? Uh, yeah, because like you know, it's it's for a new title. I feel like if they would, you know, but I mean, I'm not mad about it. I enjoyed the match. Um, well, I think I think it was more kind of like to break up all the championship matches because uh, you, you have Sheeta versus Nyla Rose for the women's championship, yep. plus yeah. Moxley versus Lee for the AEW World Championship back to back. To have three of them back to back to back is it's it, it's a little much. I like how uh, right. I like how um. Iron Man, Iron Man, Mike Tyson came in with the title belt, but yeah, yeah, he he didn't really get involved as much as I thought he would. No. Yeah, and he had free, he had free range too, like they yeah, said on Dynamite. He could have anything. Well, I no. mean, he did, he did stop Jake Roberts from bringing out the snake later. Yeah, he did. Yep. Very true. Which I I, I was I was kinda hoping Art Anderson and Jake Roberts would have tuzzled, but that didn't I was that hoping way. for that. I did Why like though him? how Cody did the DDT in front of him and then mm-hmm. Archer came out and did a spine buster on Cody. That was, and then that was Cody brutal. did the, the singer splash but Sting didn't even come out and that was upsetting too. <laughs> that that was beautiful though. He just he just comes um, down from the rafters. <laughs> I don't. How it's Sting. Uh, they were in an open area. <laughs> so funny. Um. All right, so what? I'm gonna rate this a four stars. Chris, four. Stars. Yeah, four stars. I I honestly like. I wanted like again. I wanted Cody to win, but when I saw Lance Archer just absolutely obliterating Cody, I'm like, yeah, Cody's not winning. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm like, um, dude, he's he's losing this match, and I'm be mad. He's he's getting his ass whooped so sure. bad. There's no way, there's no way he's coming back and winning this match. But then he Archer, won't. Lance Archer and, is um beast. He's a little bitch. Um, he doesn't look like how he looks like in WWE, but damn. I know. Uh, next match, Chris. Or I'm sorry. Uh, what what is it? The Galaxy's Greatest Alien or something stupid like that. Chris yeah, Chris yeah, Statlander. the Galaxy, yeah. Chris Statlander and Penelope, yeah. super, super um, versus, bad. Penelope Ford. Yeah, versus Penelope Ford with Kip. Kip, okay, Kip Sabian. <laughs> when he came out with the crutches, I thought that I was great. That. I loved it. it. It's it's a great way to keep the kayfabe going because <laughs> he, 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 he got his ass whooped in the ladder wrapped, match. He's wrapped around like he has like bandages wrapped around his throat, and he like. They are coming down. They kind of look like Jeff Jarrett's old, uh, <laughs> his old uh, suit when he came out, the yeah. white one. I'm like, oh my god, what is happening? And then he like just like kept swinging him. Like it just looks so funny. I loved how he came out bandaged up. Oh, it was great. Uh, uh, I'm I, not. I'm not a fan of Chris Statlander. I kind of hope she goes away. I don't I, like. I, I don't mind her. She she's a good athlete. But I, I guess I, 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 I don't connect to the to the 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 character, I guess. I don't she doesn't right. really yeah, I, yeah. I don't watch Dynamite that much, so I guess I don't know if she does any promos, but I don't I don't get I don't get the alien thing. I don't I don't get it. Me neither. Yeah. I know it's it's a weird it's a weird gimmick, but I mean I other than that she's a great athlete. I agree. Um, um Yeah. Yeah, uh, I was kind of hoping Penelope Ford won this. Chris Statlander defeated her. I will, I will say props to Penelope Ford for selling the back. 
Yeah. Um, during her entrance, you know, she was holding the small of her back, which she didn't land on the ladder. She landed on top of Kip Sabian. So right. I don't understand how that hurt her back. I don't know. Because even on commentary, they're like, oh, yeah, she landed on the, on the ladder. But I like, know she did. She landed on Kip Sabian. <laughs> That's why he's bandaged up in the, tor- in the middle there. In his tor- yeah. Side. Exactly. Uh, um, yeah. yeah it, I was I was kind of upset. Three stars. I think. I think it was a good palate cleanser to kind of kick, you know, to, after the Cody Archer match. It was it was a great way to kind of soothe the mood yeah. of of the event. So yeah, three three and a half for two me. Two stars. You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm taking it out to two stars because four didn't win. <laughs> uh, next match: <laughs> Dustin Rhodes with Brandy Rhodes defeating or er, versus Sean Spears. Um. I I love this. This was this was funny. Sean Spears I, comes out. I I did like the beginning of it, because uh, I mean it's happened so much before. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Sean Spears comes out and talks about how Dustin isn't there because he is retiring. <laughs> His music plays, and then he doesn't come out because he he wasn't the, actually the, there. The look he gives the camera, that little smirk. He's like, was "Uh huh, I got you. I got I told you." you. He's yeah. at home washing his tights, and then it plays again, and it's like, no, no, no. He's I, like, guys, no, they, no, don't, he did he, not talk about so this. Play one. Play, play, play once. And then Brandy, oh, Brandy comes out, and then Dustin comes behind him. Yeah. So, I don't know if you noticed this, but um, last year, Double or Nothing, um, Dustin came out with half his face painted Mm -hmm. right yes yeah i don't don't know if you noticed but in this match it looked like it was like more painted almost like the the makeup is slowly consuming him you know what i mean yep right almost yeah almost like he's gonna go full makeup and kind of go maybe turn heel probably maybe um interesting maybe i don't know I'd actually kind of like to see that. Um, Dustin is, you know, great, great wrestler, great talent. Oh, yeah. the, this little, this little squat. I, I guess we're gonna call it a squash match. Um, I mean, pretty much was. The, I mean, I, I mean, the only thing I didn't enjoy was seeing Sean Spears' ass. Yeah, I, I did like that he on his on his uh, underwear he had Toy Blanchard in the front right on the crotch, right on that the was, crotch. That was good. And the the way he sold that, like you guys were supposed to see that, no. Yeah. <laughs> and he slides back in the ring. Oh man, Dustin winning. So good. Oh, hey, two two stars. It's a great way to. It's it's a great comedic. Yeah, I'm giving seen, this four stars because yeah, I've seen that on. Awesome. Uh, I've seen that on uh, YouTube about it. I watched I watched the highlights on it, and uh, it wasn't. A good match, I'm expected. I have to give it uh, two stars. Also, it really. I'm, I'm giving it four. Match. Giving it four stars because Dustin won, and it was a squash match, and he doesn't get a lot of those. So four stars. All right. Um, yeah, actually, I'm bumping up to four stars. Uh, <laughs> next, Hakiro Shida versus Nyla Rose for the AEW Women's Championship. No DQ, no countout. Aaron, what did you think of this match? I really loved this match. I enjoyed it. Um, like, uh, you know, like I barely watch AEW, so like I don't really keep track of you know all that stuff. But right. this match, man, I wow, <laughs> just wow. That's all I gotta say. Um, I loved it. Um, you know, I'm I'm a huge Nyla Rose fan. Um, not a huge Sheeta fan, unfortunately. Why not? Um, uh, personally, for me, um, I'm I'm not a fan of. Uh, so I I like I like Japanese wrestling, like like the men, like Okada and strong, you know Shinsuke the and all them. Style. Yeah, right. The strong style. Um, the women. In like the Japanese women don't seem to have that same kind of strong style, which is kind of weird. Um, 
especially if they're fighting someone like Nyla Rose or like Nia Jax or whatever. And uh, right. So like, I you don't, don't believe that they can beat them. Right, like it's, she it's a, she's a small. You know, she's yeah. she's a small woman. I mean, she's not she's not she's not as small as Rio though. Rio. No, no, you're right. She's not, but she's a lot smaller than Nyla Rose. Right. And uh and I I did not once believe that she could beat Nyla with the move she was doing. Um so I I just I could I couldn't believe it. So um Oh, two stars because Nala Rose lost. <laughs> um, I did like how she broke the kendo stick over Nyla's head I and actually it. hit her in the head. Okay, too. at the at the end of the match when she was doing all that stuff, then I was starting to kind of believe that she could. But all the all the stuff before that, like it just n- nothing after that stood out to me. Yeah, and mo- for the most of the match, Sheeta was getting her ass whooped. Too. Yeah, it was just like Lance Archer and Cody. Lance yeah. Archer is the bigger person. Cody's the smaller person, but the underdog. Right. In this match. Um, but yeah, th- three three stars for that match. I think it was a great way to give tribute to Ana Kimura as well. I believe yeah. that's why they did it. I I think if she wouldn't have committed suicide, I think they would have still went with. Nyla Rose retaining because Nyla Rose honestly didn't have that long of a title reign. Right. So sure. well, I don't know. She she was what a champion for 101 days or something? Yeah. Something like that. I mean that's that that's a long time for a woman's champion. It was. Yeah. It is. Like I get I get what you're saying. What mm-hmm. a huge author title reigns aren't are usually longer. Yep. But but you got to think of it in as women's championship because women's championships are like never that long. No, it's right. Not. So like, so I get I get right, what you're I, saying, I, but but I, you got to think feel. of it a different way. Yeah, yeah. Um, next, obviously, probably the the thing that should have been the main event, um, John Moxley versus Mister Brody Lee, uh, for the AEW World Championship. Aaron, what did you think of this one? I enjoyed it. Um, they they never specifically said it was an ODQ match because like the ref, the, the refs in AEW they let a lot of stuff go. Yeah, they're they're less lenient than refs in WWE. And you mean I, you mean they're more lenient? Or yeah, I I don't know, I, I don't whatever. They're they're more lenient. They don't. They're you know they let a lot of stuff go. Right. I enjoyed it. Seeing John Moxley and Brody Lee going at it again reminded me of their old CZW days. Yeah. When they were beating the shit out of each other and making making each other bleed. The, right. the spot the spot I really loved. Um, the the paradigm shift through the ramp. That was a great nod to Taz um, from when uh, he did the move to Bam Bam Bigelow. I believe it was Heat Wave 1998. Mm. When they went through the, the ramp. Right. Because they, they did two different spots in two different matches, uh, two separate years. Uh, because the, the the more famous one, obviously, is when they broke the ring. Of course. Yeah. When Bam Bam bumped. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I, I liked it. Um, I yeah. love I love this match. Same. I was I was, I, I, I was kind of hoping it would it would have been a um um a, a, an ODQ or whatever match. It it kind of felt like it already was. It felt like it, but it wasn't explicitly. You know. Right. It wasn't specifically an ODQ. Yeah. Match. Um, the way it ended was really interesting too. John Moxley winning by submission. Yeah, not not even pinning, just submission. Yeah, was like the first was it the first time ever they faced each other in the ring or oh in how, in oh. AEW. Oh yes. in AEW, yes, but yeah. uh, but no. not in their careers. Oh okay. They, they fought a lot in CCW. CCW, even WWE. They well, well, yeah, WWE, but that, but yeah, but 
CZW was really what sparked them. Their rivalry was in CZW. Yeah, I, I love how it just keeps going through all the promotions they're both in. <laughs> Starts with CZW, continues to WWE, continues to AEW. <laughs> I, no matter no matter where John Moxley goes, Brody Lee's gonna follow suit. There he is. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, I, I'm gonna give it four, four stars. I will give it five. I'm gonna go four and a half. I'm gonna give it five and a half. I, I love I love that match. It was it was a good match. Especially, you would think that John Moxley would pin, you know, yeah. pin Brody Lee. Mm-hmm. I think so. And I'm surprised since you know the Dark Order did not get involved in this match. That's kind of surprised. Yeah, because Bro, you know, Brody Lee is the heel, and you would think for most of the matches in this card, the heels managers are friends never really got involved the only time was kip sabian's when jimmy havoc and penelope ford got involved oh yeah it's like the only that's really the only time yeah. okay ladies and gentlemen it is time <laughs> for the stadium stampede match <laughs> um the entrances were perfect the inner yeah. circle coming out in matching uniforms i loved it also yeah. um uh, the jersey numbers were significant to wh- whoever wore it. Um, Jericho wore twenty-seven. His, dad, his right? dad, his dad wore the number twenty-seven in the NHL. Yeah. Um, Sammy Guevara was born in nineteen ninety-three, so number ninety-three. Ninety-three. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jake Hager looks the best he's ever been, in my yes. opinion. One hundred percent. WWE really dropped the ball on him because he's a great athlete. He was. But they didn't really know what to do with him. No. And then he went to MMA, kicked ass at it, signed with AEW, kicked ass in AEW, and he's in a circle, man. He still is kicking ass in AEW. I I love this whole match. Um, the elite not coming out wearing matching stuff, which which is fine because the elite do their own thing, right? Um, uh, so everyone else comes out. And, Where's Hangman? Where's Adam yeah. Page? And then the whistle blows because there's no bells in football, so nope. we don't need. Them. Well, we'll see a bell later. Actually. Yeah, we will. <laughs> we'll see a bell. <laughs> um. I I really enjoyed this whole match. Uh, yes, uh, if you people listening to this don't know, this match was taped the night before. Yes. Yep. So it, it was it was already taped. Mm-hmm. It was. I, I don't think they would have been able to do it live. Obviously. No. No. It would have been too complicated, and they wouldn't have been able to get everything in like that. True. Uh, and then we see Adam Page come out on a horse. On a horse. He's a cowboy shit. And what, a, and what a beautiful horse it was. Chasing Sammy Guevara down. Sammy Guevara, man. He's oh, he's so comedic. But he's he such is. a great athlete, too. It's funny. I, he's, I loved, I loved I, when, uh, what was it, Matt Jackson... Gave him Northern Lights all the way down the field. Yeah, then then the touchdown, and then he and then he spiked them. Yeah, he <laughs> spiked them, and he starts dancing. And then Rick Knox is like, "No, nope, excessive ex- ex- celebration." I I think I think it's like I think it was funny. He's like to the ref, "Remember Alex, right? You know." <laughs> and then, on the flag, except some celebration. Excessive what? Celebration. What? Super what? Kick them. I I love Jericho in this match too. You gotta, you gotta admit, Chris Jericho. Oh man, I think the the funniest thing Jericho did was put the cone on his head and just laugh. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like what? I I, I loved when uh oh man who 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 did he pin Nick Jackson. He pinned he's him. Nick Jackson, he kicked out, and then he's like, I want I challenge the player. Yeah, he's and like, he's like, I challenge it. Aubrey's like, You challenge? 
<laughs> and then they, he follows her into the tent and like you can hear the conversation she's like you're not supposed to be in here and then she's like the, the, call, the call the call stands and he's like what and she's like the call stands and he's like you're a shitty referee <laughs> let's talk about matt hardy all right let's talk about matt hardy okay <laughs> which which matt hardy do you want to talk about do you want to talk about uh team extreme ah. Or a V1? <laughs> or a <laughs> wonderful <laughs> broken Matt Hardy. <laughs> all three. We saw all three in this match, man. So let me let me set it up for everybody, right? I'll, so, I'll, let, I'll let you talk about it because, man. I so I don't know if I can talk about it without laughing so much. <laughs> so Santana takes uh, Matt Hardy, throws him into the pool that they have at the TII Stadium. Mm. And, uh, so Santana tells Ortiz, come on, man, get in here. And Ortiz is like, can't I can't swim. It's three feet deep. And, uh, well, he, he does eventually get in. And yeah, uh, so I guess he can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they're they're trying to drown Matt Hardy for some reason. Uh, <laughs> to kill him. And so they bring him up, and it's Team Extreme Matt Hardy. OG, OG Matt Hardy. That was great. And, and then so they, then they duck him like, in again. And then there's a camera on the water. He does and then the they team. bring him out and he's V1 with the... Yeah, he does a TV stream. He comes out, he's V1 with the with the uh, matter of facts or whatever the on the screen. Attributes. And uh, Santana's like poking it. He's like, what is this? And All then they drown him again the... and he does the, he does the V1 <laughs> in the water. Yeah, and and then, and then he's and he's back to broken my Hardy. I I love that. I yeah, it's kind of cheesy, but Orange Cassidy. Damn. Orange um, Cassidy's in a match right now. That was, I yeah, like that that little that little oh. spot was cheesy, but damn, I loved so it. Good. And then he and then uh, Ortiz went through a table. I believe it was Ortiz. Ooh. Uh, and then he got his bell rung. Literally. Yeah, literally, literally got his bell rung. <laughs> and duct taped to a wheel of chairs. All right, all right. Chair, so chair of wheels. The, 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 I think the spotlight the most. So, uh, mm-hmm. Adam Page is going through the stadium to try to find Sammy Guevara. Yeah. Uh, he stops, goes into the bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, later, we see Jake Hager walking down. Uh, the same hallway, but from the other side, sees Paige's horse, and then <laughs> goes down the bar. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. the horse charged. They, yeah, that would be great. So they talk for a little bit, and then they start fighting, and then for some reason, Jake Hager puts Adam Page on the bar, and then slides him down like it's a movie. <laughs> like an old western cowboy like, shit. Pilgrim. Uh, it's great, man. I love that it. Aaron. Aaron, Jungle Boy oh. one to face the um Cody Rhodes' title next. Nice. Yeah, TNT title. You know what, man? Huh? I love this match. This this whole match. The, I'm the gonna stadium go to five stars. The the ending was ending perfect. Was perfect. Go ahead and talk You're, about it. See, yeah, Sam. Okay, so Sammy Guevara's crawling after the little spike touchdown. Chris Jericho's taking out. Jake Hager's taking out. Obviously, after a double team from Omega and, and Page, um, Ortiz and Santana gone. They're one of them's in an ice box. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Guevara gets last gets one standing. Sprinklers, and he's like, "I won! I'm the last one standing! I won!" And then he hears the golf cart from a week from a week ago. The same golf cart. The same golf cart. And then he's like, "I love how it looked like a movie." Guevara's yeah. like, "Oh god, oh god, no, no, please!" And he starts running and does the Lambo leap in Jacksonville. <laughs> and then um, he has a brawl with Omega and Hardy. And then he starts choking Matt Hardy, says, I'm going to kill you. 
I swear yeah. to God, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then uh, we see not Vanguard one because that got destroyed two weeks ago on Dynamite, but Neo one. Natural or is it natural electric yeah. organism or something? Electronic so, organism. Yeah. yeah. And then we see Sammy Guevara get distracted, and we see Kenny Omega pick him up for a one-winged angel. You think he's going to drop him just right on that platform? Oh, no. Oh, no. no he jumps no. off. Oh, no, no. Oh, they're they showing fell yeah. about 20, 20 feet yeah. through a wooden platform. A yeah. one-winged angel. It honestly, it looks like a tournament of death spot for yeah. They're showing it right now. Um, and Aubrey Edwards comes with a ladder, climbs up, and sees Santa Guevara being pinned. One, two, three. And the elite prevail against the inner circle. That's right. Damn, what a match. I, right now, too. I, I love this match. Um, Five stars. Yeah. You, you cannot give it anything less. Or uh, you can't go more because that's the moral. But right, you know what? Exactly. But yeah, definitely five five stars. This match. You know what? You know a, what? <laughs> I bet what? you, if this match took place in Japan, um, mm -hmm. Dave Meltzer would have rated it ten out of five. No doubt. No doubt. <sighs> but um, yeah, a great way to end double or nothing. Um, the the story they told, I loved it. Awesome. <laughs> Um, oh, awesome. I, I, I kind of wish they would have used the ring more. Uh, they only used the ring for maybe like a little bit of it, not not too much. Uh, well, it's 34 minutes even, so yeah. Um, I mean, they, they I think they only use it for like five or ten minutes I, of that. The inner, circle, the inner circle got a cheerleaders now. I probably, probably the Jaguars. We, we, we forgot, we forgot one, one spot that I loved. So, uh, Nick Jackson and Chris Jericho are fighting. You see an inflatable Jaguar head, and you oh, think yeah. Jericho's going to get thrown into that. And then Jericho reverses, throws Nick Jackson in there, and you see the Jacksonville Jaguars mascot challenging Chris Jericho, and yeah. he gets blasted with a Judas effect. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, man. Yeah, th this whole event was great. I'm I'm rating double or nothing A plus, man. That like Me too. there was no there, there was no bad match on the card. No, I besides the buy in, obviously that that match could have been better, but the main card was perfect. I yeah. I haven't seen some like a better card this whole year. Yeah. I, I, I I really wish Jake Hager would have gotten more spots in. But I loved I loved his little thing with Hangman Page in the bar. So and Omega. So I get I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Um but now this is a huge but. Um what? you know, I, I obviously love double or nothing, but I think I think it's actually tied with money in the bank this year. Really? I think those are the two best pay-per-views so far this year. Money in the Bank was great. It was for, amazing. Especially, especially, was for, especially for the concept they had to do for the, just the Money in the Bank ladder match. Yeah. I I really enjoyed that match. Wait, how was the Money in the Bank, though? A+. Plus. It was amazing. Definitely. The, the whole pay-per-view was good. I, yeah. I enjoyed it. Um... I liked the Money in the Bank ladder match itself. Yeah, that was great. I double thought, or nothing. Was, double or nothing Mysterio, was amazing. I thought Rey Mysterio was gonna die because he got thrown off the roof. <laughs> yeah, thrown onto a platform. Yeah, there's there's a there's a platform <laughs> him, under him. Him and Alistair Black, two two for one. <laughs> well, yeah. apparently Ray's supposed to be retiring now officially. Wait, that's week? okay. That's that's I I don't think that's what's really gonna happen i think him and rollins are gonna have a little program it, well it, it was supposed to be monday that's what i heard yeah yeah next, next like monday. no 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 this last monday oh huh. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, so, cars subject to change and everything, so may, maybe well, they the moved it. Gonna retire. But I, I, I don't know. But oh, yeah, but, but not, don't buy nothing. That was such a great pay per view. Speaking of WWE, guess who was back? Who? Drew Gulak. Oh yeah, that's right. He he, um, yeah. he was able to resign. Uh, yeah, he had no non non compete clause, so yep. he could have showed up at AEW. He could have showed up anywhere, but he didn't because yeah, he, he likes WWE. Which I, I think I think he's he has he has a perfect fit in oh WWE. My God. He, he, He's, he's, he's also a double nothing. Yeah. <laughs> from, yeah from so too. And Billy Gunn was there too. Yeah, so so was Peter Avalon in a robe for some reason. Yeah, like Peter Avalon in his robe and just like, okay, you're not on the card today, bud. <laughs> you can you can oh just wear your street clothes. But I, I actually like how we kind of stay in character about that. You know, you, you know what I think? Her loud mouth. Little uh, little conspiracy theory and everything. I think <laughs> him and Leva are actually doing a little more than doing a little more than just being librarians. If you if you get my drift. <laughs> no, we have think to hear. Right? I no, mean, we have to hear Vicar, Vicky Guerrero's loud mouth. Maybe in uh, in kayfabe, maybe. Well, right. Yeah, I yeah. think that's. I think that's what they're. Based like leading to. Pretty sure that's that's what's going on. Well, it, it, like, especially yeah, their like, promos on being the elite and everything. It just it just think, it uh, you know. I, I think what's funny is Leva Bates used to be in WWE. Yeah. Okay. Her, her ring name is Blue Pants. But no, she's so much better now than she was. I agree. Then. And she really wasn't shown in WWE like she was. She was a part of the Vaude Villains, um, uh, Murphy, Blake and Murphy feud. Yeah. What okay, was it? what was going on with Seth Rollins in WWE? I love his new gimmick. I love his Monday. Dude, I, which I is, which is funny time. because he's, he's an atheist too, which is funny. Yeah. So he's like a messiah, but he's, yeah. he's an atheist. See, that's... I, that's my gimmick too. Well, it's sort of my gimmick because I'm the sort chosen of. one, and the chosen one is from the Bible, and it's just yeah. yeah. And you have the you have the black Bible, but like he's the Monday Night Messiah, and yeah. he's like here to here to save everyone. I, what if Tyler, what if my black gonna... Bible is actually about him, but as Tyler Black? <laughs> What what the what the Monday Night Messiah gimmick reminds me of is CM Punk Straight Edge Society. Really. Yeah, but way better. Way better. Right. Um, well, okay, it, okay. It, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The only reason why I say better is because WWE's actually pushing the, the Monday Night Messiah and his little group. They didn't really care about Straight Edge Society. They kind of let him do whatever they whatever he wanted. Right. It's just kind of there. But with this, yeah. obviously, I love CM Punk, and I think he, you know, he's a really good talker, but that's the only reason why I say it's better is because we're actually giving I think him a chance. I think he should have showed up a double or nothing to beat the shit out of Cabana. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron, did <laughs> Aaron. That's hilarious. Oh, Aaron. the ninth member. It's CM Punk. It's oh, CM Cole Punk. Cabana's happy to see his best friend. Aaron, Smack. Aaron, I have a oh. question. Um, huh? SmackDown. Did they reveal the hacker? No. I have no idea. They still haven't done that. They they're still doing that thing. I, I I think obviously I think it's Xavier Woods. I don't At know. At this point, I don't even care anymore because they just they're dragging out too far. If if it is CM Punk, I wouldn't be surprised. But like, I doubt it. It's going to be CM Punk because he's he's said multiple times in different interviews he doesn't want to be involved in the storylines anymore. He he's he's fine with his role right now. It, He's not hired by WWE. He's hired by Fox Sports. That's exactly what someone who is involved in a storyline would say. <laughs> Duh. He's not involved in the dance. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know I that? Know do you know CM that? Punk. I know CM Punk. You know CM Punk? Bro, I know get him on the phone. Call him up, Rock. <laughs> 
don't know him like that. Yeah. Don't you know don't him. know him. You don't know him if you don't have his number. <laughs> I'm not Cole Cabana. <laughs> boom, boom. Cole Cabana. Cole boom, Cabana. Boom, 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 boom. Cole Cabana. <laughs> it's Cole Cabana. <laughs> well, Cole Cabana probably doesn't have his number anymore. So. <laughs> no, because they hate each other. <laughs> Boom, That's boom. why I wish it was showing up at Double or Nothing. Just beat the shit out of Cabana. <laughs> you see, I think you suck. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'll say. <laughs> I think it's Xavier Woods. I don't know. I bet it is. Why would it be Xavier Woods? <laughs> Computers. Why? He's a gamer. Oh, he's a gamer? Yeah, he is. See, him Punk's a gamer. <laughs> More of a gamer than you are. <laughs> okay. Which which is a pretty low bar if I got if I say so myself. <laughs> not, hey, Xavier, not Woods, about Xavier Woods have a channel. Up up down down. Now what do you have, Aaron? <laughs> I don't need anything. A dead chance. Drizzle. Whatever. Okay. Guys, um, hold on. Hold on. Before we end this, can I rant for a minute? Sure. Yeah. It's your okay. podcast, boy. I know, but you're the co-host, so I have to ask you. <laughs> so you gotta ask me. You're the main host. So. You know, I, I work at a retail store. I'm not going to say the name. Just yeah. in case. Bow and arrow. Uh, shut up. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I work at a retail store. And uh, a drug store, whatever. And uh, every day, you know, we have to wear masks. Which I don't mind at all. It's not a huge deal. But I keep having people come in. And they're like, oh my god, it sucks you have to wear that. I'm like, I don't really give a shit. Honestly, if I can protect you and protect myself from you, then I don't really care. See, if you don't know, if you really don't know um, how somebody feels about something, shut your fucking mouth. Because no one wants to hear you say, oh, I feel so bad for you, when honestly, I don't care. I really don't. So how about if you ever see me with a mask on, you just look at me and you say hello and you answer whatever questions I have for you, and you don't tell me, oh my god, it feels so bad for you for wearing that. Well, you know what? You can go shove it, because I don't care. Like, it just, it makes me mad. Because I honestly could care, I couldn't care less about wearing a mask every single day if it means I'm safe, and I can keep my family safe. Do you, um, do you have to be, like, do you have to have your temperature taken and tested? Like yes. in question before you have to go in. Yes. That's what my mom has to do too. But okay. again, if it keeps me safe and keeps everybody else safe, I don't mind it. If right. if this is going to be how we have to live for a year or a little more than that, honestly, I think Forever. it's the best route that we could take. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, and if, like, if you don't need if you don't need anything, just stay the fuck home. You know. Exactly. exactly. Nobody old people like, coming if, to the if store. You really, like, if you really need something, then yeah, but wear a mask. Be considerate of others. Stay six so. feet away from people. Wear a mask. Honestly, yeah. hand sanitizer is not going to do much for you, so I don't know why people keep using it. Um, um, gl- gloves, too. That doesn't work either because you're nope. touching one thing and then you're contaminating it. Yep. It's one big cycle. See, if if everyone listened to what I had to say about it, if you're going to use gloves, make sure you keep the, the, the box with you. So if you want to touch something, you put a glove on, touch it, put it in your cart, take the glove off, and throw it away, and get a new one so you're not cross-contaminating everything. Mm-hmm. Wait, Aaron. Like, how hard you, is that? Aaron, are right, you? Right, it's it's common, common fucking sense. Aaron, are you open um, or not? I don't know. You don't know? You work at Subway, right? No. No. 
Yeah, they're there in months. There. I haven't been working there since October yeah. last year. Something like that. that. October, November. Something like that. Nice. Like late, early November. Nice. Actually, you know what? I I I don't. I think it was before Halloween. Yeah, when this whole no, because I had Halloween off, but I worked. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it was. It, it was, it was like the early first November when I. Yeah. 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 When this whole COVID nineteen gets done, I'm definitely gonna get a job now. I ain't going to get a job yet. Honestly, it's really not that bad. If if you get a job in retail, it's it's pretty good. You're not high risk though, so you can definitely go out and get a job. Totally, you're fine. Just wear a mask. See, you now if Aaron goes out, he could die. So, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not kidding. Like, like he he he, he could yeah. die. Yeah. Yeah. Because high because he's like... he's high risk because of his heart condition. True. So he he's more he's more vulnerable to it than me or you. Right. That's what, that's why sometimes I hate when my mom goes to work, but you know, gotta gotta yeah. do what you gotta do, you know. Right. But gotta she wears a mask money. and shit, so she's she's smart. Yeah. Gotta make some money somehow. Oh, also, um, for everyone who asks why do we have to wear a mask, the masks are not to protect you from other people, it's to protect people other people from you. Yep. So obviously the masks aren't gonna help you if someone's like breathing directly into your face, but it helps you not breathe into other people's face. That's why we wear masks, idiots. Yeah, it's and they're they're saying six feet isn't enough mm. for social distancing, which I agree. I think. I mean, obviously it should be more, but in some in some places you can't even get six feet. Right. It's it's tough. That, that that's why they're really pushing masks because if mm-hmm. especially if you have to be like like in a drugstore, you know, most drugstores are small. So yeah, they're they're only they're only like a certain cubic feet right like they're not huge so no like if you go into a drugstore definitely wear a mask like myers and stuff or like walmart you know they're bigger so you can you have more room to move around yep. um, right still wear a mask though just in case uh, just be considerate you know right. just just common sense it's stop not that to, fucking... just stop being a dick i don't know why people have to be dicks right know. and it's just like i don't know man I don't know. Alright, uh, Aaron, last thoughts on anything? Um, Double or Nothing was rad. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, man. Uh, uh, Derek, last thoughts on anything? Stay home, stay safe. Or just stay home and I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. I don't know. Stay home stay and yourself watch wrestling. Watch um, the wrestling. <laughs> Uh, I guess my last thoughts are um, I got a new chair. I got a new Michigan chair, everybody, and it's it's great. I love it. Nice. It's, it's badass. It's so it's so nice. It's uh, I bet it's com- I bet it's comfy too. Dude, it's comfortable as fuck, dude. Like you could probably fall asleep in it that comfy. I, honestly, I probably could. I kind of wish it, it reclined. <laughs> so at least right? at least just so like the back is so I could just kind of like lay back and just be like. I'm sleeping here. Like it, it is really comfortable, honestly. I bet eventually, like one time, you'll fall asleep in it and not even realize. Probably. Because it's so damn. I can see that happening. Because it's so comfy, so like you don't expect to fall asleep. Oh, uh, also, uh, news. A uh, uh, l- little announcement. I'm I'm gonna make a, an actual video for this since I got a new phone that actually has a front ca- front facing camera on it. Mm. Um, so, I'm working on a huge video right now, so if anyone is kind of like, I don't know why you stopped posting or whatever, um, these are still going to be weekly, uh, but I'm working on a huge video, uh, I know, I know Aaron knows what it is, but he's not going to say anything about it, uh, yeah. I, I promise to be discreet, I'm sorry, um, you can, you can, you can send me money and I'm still not going to tell you, exactly. you can send him a million dollars, he's still not going to tell you. I'll be rich as hell and I'm out of here. Um, I'll but, be buying that island from Dana White. I don't give yeah. fuck. But yeah, so I'm I'm working on a huge video right now. Um, I'm still I'm also still trying to figure out the cheap marks thing. Yeah, uh, we're not we're gonna try and get that 
you know, because I mean, uh, there's, there's still there's still some videos that need to be uploaded. Yes, but not not all of us have the software to edit our videos and upload True. them. That's Jared's department, and we're putting a lot of stress on him. And we're sorry. That's fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so we're I'm working on that. We're working on a cheat marks to get that more. Uh, I don't know, streamlined or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, man, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to bring everyone onto my channel to kind of give myself a content as well, um, mm-hmm. and you know, kind of like help everyone else grow around me, which is kind of the which is a little bit of the point of the Cheap Marks channel. Uh, besides us loving wrestling, mm-hmm. um, it's kind of like to funnel as many fans as we can and kind of like you know, yeah. just to distribute them to our own channels. Like honestly, right. Like, Mm-hmm. Like this, this uh, isn't a secret, folks. Like this is just you know what I thought. The mayhem, mayhem wrestling. Check that yeah. out. Mayhem number yeah. one. May uh, time for work 2018. Mayhem number two. And that that will be coming back as soon as we can all get together again. Once the yeah. pandemic ends, uh, yeah. oh, which we don't know. Yeah. When, we don't know when it's gonna end. So oh, I... yeah, check out um, mayhem wrestling. May. Maybe um, Jared's gonna link that in the bio, um, description. So check it out. Check Maybe. out Aaron's and check out Jared Weathers and check out mine too. I'm gonna be doing a Q and A pretty soon, 14. So so give me a question, guys. Aaron, anything you're doing on your channel here soon? Um. Uh- Probably going to be uh, doing some NHL live streamings on my other channel, Aaron on the Hockey Channel. Check that out. Um, oh, bro, we got to stream Fortnite again soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely got to do that. I'll do that on my main channel. Uh, I might do some WWE 2K19 universe mode live yeah. streams. Starting to get into that. Um, I think I'll do that for 2K20. I mean, yeah, it's but two K twenty is just so glitchy. It is. My, I mean, mine, not, my, mine I mean, has been glitchy I mean, in a while. I mean, for me, it hasn't been glitchy, but like, I don't know, it just seems a lot slower. Like right. the gameplay is a lot slower, and I don't yeah, like that. It's slower. So two K. Plus, I've been playing two K nineteen lately a lot. Yeah. Oh, check so. um in the fall. There's going to be a new game coming out. It's not WWE 2K21. It's a WWE Battlegrounds. It's coming out. Okay. No more plugging Sorry. that game on this on the show. Yeah. We're not. I mean, we're not sponsored. We're not sponsored by 2K. We're not sponsored yeah. by WWE. We're not sponsored no. by gaming. Game it's not. Stuff. It's not. It's not even that. I. I am not excited for this game. I do not want the game associated with this with this podcast. Last time from him, no more. I will not hear about it again. I do not care. Okay. You you want to talk about talk about your own channel, not mine. I'm done with it. I am so mad at it. But you want to know a game that you can plug? What? AEW. No. Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga comes out October. Was it twenty second? I think. Ooh. Really? Yeah. October, all right. Wait, which, uh, Lego Star Wars: The Saga, The St- Skywalker Saga. I've already had. I've had this paid off. I'm. Well, I'm gonna have it paid off for a year and a half at this point. By man, the time it comes out. What <laughs> systems gonna be? I, on, so. Uh, I believe the new systems. Oh. Okay. Yeah, or the. Or no, or, it's gonna be on oh, probably 4. probably all of them. PlayStation Four, Xbox One, uh, yeah. PlayStation Five, Xbox uh, X Series. I'm excited for that game. I'm excited for it. Oh, oh. Uh, some GTA news before we go. Um, <laughs> they're predicting maybe 2023 till we get GTA 6. Yep. Ooh, that'd here. be about. I I, I feel like ten years. I, see, I like how Rockstar does their stuff with Grand Theft Auto. They take two to three years to develop their new games, and it always looks beautiful. Yeah. They always they they take their time. See, two K, they rush everything. I I I feel like if we got a wrestling game every two years, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, because 
Because especially with like roster updates, uh, you know, physical changes with the talents. Yeah. It, it's yeah. hard to get that in a short Every amount of time. Year. So I, I feel like they should stop producing a game every every other year and just do it every two years right so that way so that way they have time to do, like also learn from the mistakes from the last game fix yeah. them and which I, I i really think that. with uh working on battlegrounds uh mm-hmm. this year they will actually have a little extra time to do the uh 2k21 they're not or coming 22. out with 2K21. 22. They're Sorry, you know what? It's fucking. No, 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 no. You're good. You're you good. know you're what good. I meant. I'm, I'm gonna gonna throw you through a window. <laughs> I'm gonna throw good. you through a window. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited for the AEW video game that's eventually gonna come out. Don't know when, but I'm excited. Same. We get double or nothing. We get uh, we get the blood and guts match. Maybe we get the Steve Stampede arena. Hmm. Maybe, dude. Uh, them working, them working I, with I hope, is really gonna help. What, what they need to do for the next WWE game, do they need to add war games? They need to. Oh, they have to. They, they have, have to. to. If, they, if they don't, AEW better. And 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 they better have this in your house pay per view coming up for NXT. Oh yes, oh. NXT Takeover in your house. I'm excited for that, man. Really? When when I when I saw they're bringing back in your house, I'm like, oh, awesome! And on the on the network, if if you watch the network, you can see they've uh, really promoted huh. in your house. Yeah, yeah. They like, you know, like some like after like uh, for example, like after Money in the Bank, they have that specific tab for every Money in the Bank pay per view ever. Yes. Yeah. They had that same tab buffer in your house. Wow. And guess who they show guess who they show to showcase in your house? Who? Who? Brett Hart. Yeah, Brett Hart. What? Yeah. Yeah, it shows Bret Hart. Look on, on, like seriously, Jared. Look on the network. Go to the network. Go to that tab. You'll see Bret Hart just standing there. <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense because he was in the first in your house match. <laughs> I love how Jared's laughing. <laughs> he was he was in the very first match at the first ever in your house. Makes sense. Are you gonna Brett, um, Brett are you screwed gonna that? In, are you gonna get him are you gonna get him in the ring, Aaron? Oh Brett Hart? No, Jared. Who knows? Uh, you're taking the title off Aaron. Yeah, Jared. Or Aaron. <laughs> Speaking of your YouTube channel, I I seen your um you're um you're saying about me, man. On your promo um promo. Oh you, oh you finally saw that? <laughs> yeah, I seen it a long time ago, bro. I was gonna say that's like two, that was two, like two months ago. I seen it a long time ago. Two months, you mean two years? Oh no, Aaron, two months. Aaron, if you want to match with me for your title, you have to Say some, man. Are you eating? <laughs> no. Are you eating? No. Are you eating? <laughs> no. Come on, go. Are you eating? Come on, go. Fuck off. You are eating. Oh my god. I'm chewing on gum. <laughs> We're not even done with the podcast yet. You can't wait. <laughs> I've been eating this whole fucking time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> why, why do I let you on here? Because I'm the yeah. post? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean that, that can be pulled very quickly. Why do you let him on here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I know. Keep, I, I keep it discreet. 
Oh yeah, now you do because every time you do it, I yell at you. <laughs> I I yell at you on live streams. I yell at you on the podcast. I I yell at you just when we're talking. I can't help it that I get my dinner when we have podcasts to do. I mean, I mean, you could you could have told me we could have ended this like twenty four months ago. <laughs> I was eating while we were talking about <laughs> all of it. I hate you. I hope you know. That. <laughs> I don't. You don't hate me. Do what? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, do you know me now? Do you know me? Do you have my number? <laughs> Two year long reigning champ, bud. Remember that. You're a bitch. Well, you are. In August. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Jared, August 8th. Thanks you in the ring. August 8th, I believe that's my uh, two year title reign. Yeah, Jared, I want to face you in the ring this year when we do this. I mean, all right, but but you, you're probably gonna put me through something, so maybe. Dude, did you see Mayhem too? Yeah. Huh? Did yeah. I I went through what was it? What well, like one of those uh, tubs that you a, put toys in? A, a, a tote bin. Whatever. I would throw a chair at you. That's it. That's it. No, no, no. We get we. That, that doesn't. Hey, I will admit though, that spot you took from Brandon does not top my Van Daminator. I agree, but but it was pretty good. No, oh, but it doesn't top it. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't top it, but it it was still pretty good. I don't think any spot in TCPW or Man Wrestling can top that. I I could probably top it. You probably can top it. I am going to top it. Oh, Van Dam hasn't even done that type of Van Dam later. I, 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 I am going to top that. I honestly, honestly, I want to send him that footage and be like, I'm better than you. I'm better I'm, than you. I probably I'm not even top high. That. Aaron, I probably would top that. So. You know what, Aaron? What? Me and you. Title match. I will top it. Five stages of hell. How about a triple threat? Me, you, and um, Jared. Don't go for four. No because five stages of hell. I want a shot with. I want to fight um, Aaron. My first debut match in it. No, we gotta have that five stages of hell match, Jared. You want to? Hell yeah, dude. Who am I gonna face, bro? Anybody? How about since Aaron did a promo on me? Maybe I didn't. I didn't really do a promo on you. I did it on Brandon. Yeah. Yeah, you were just kind of mentioned. Yeah, the promo was all about brand. But but maybe maybe and hear me out. We uh we can get uh you know we we could stack the we could stack the uh, the odds are, uh stack the odds above Brandon, where you know he faced me to kind of get a title shot, but then we mm-hmm. put him in front of Derek because he needs to go to Derek to get a top shot. And then we put him in, in, in front of uh, Tony, and he needs to go to Tony to get a top shot. And he has to go through all, through so all these him, people. Basically, like, put him through a gauntlet? No, 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 no. Just, like, every single match is just, like, him trying to get a title shot, and we just keep throwing people at him. And then oh, finally, huh. he just faced everybody, and then the last person is you. And then that's when we take the belt off you. Okay. So obviously, so obviously, yeah. But did did you still want to do that uh, little angle? Which one? How we were originally gonna get the Midwest Mafia going? Oh yeah, yeah, we could do that. You we win could, the five pages we, of hell, and you just hand me the belt. Yeah, we could we could do all that. So that way, so that way, my two year title reign still stands. Right. It because was supposed to you be. You can only count month. a day. You can't count minutes. Exactly. It was supposed to be for the one year, but I think for the two year, it's kind of perfect. Yeah, 
I agree. And 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 while the while that story is happening, we're just building Brandon up to be the number one babyface in the in the company. Mm-hmm. Pretty soon I will be turning heel. So. Uh. How many heels do we have? Oh, uh, we have way too many heels. Yeah, we have too many. Well, I mean, oh, we yeah. have me and Aaron, and well, we only have like five people in those. Which I started out as a face on the first show, and then I turned heel, I guess, and then yeah. I went. I was a heel in TBW. Yeah. Yeah. Which was awesome. So, so Derek, <laughs> we need you to be a baby face. Okay. Cause, cause the more the more heels we, ha- it's like okay, it's it's like, let me put this in Star Wars terms for everyone to understand. It's like <laughs> this is gonna be like the rule of two for right now, where there's more light side people, and there's gonna be two dark side people, and me and Aaron are dark side people. You know, I'm the master, and whatever else. So, all right, yeah. Anyway, uh, all right. <laughs> I guess I guess let's do final thoughts again. Aaron, final thoughts. Um I don't have any final you thoughts, suck. I think. Derek, final Shut. thoughts. I had <laughs> I had none. You suck. Fucking champ. Um <laughs> I'm the goddamn champion. I think you're oh. watching what? All right, we're getting <laughs> Thank everybody for listening. Sorry. Obviously you can't watch us because we're not uh you know, we're not on video. I'm not- Unless uh, you're watching the video format on YouTube, then you're watching. Um, thank you everybody for listening and I guess watching. Uh, since my goals like to contradict me every time I talk. <laughs> um, contradict you. Contradict you. Oh, it's fine. Anyway, um, I will link our personal channels below, our Cheat Marks channel below. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a random channel for some reason. Um, for Derek Wilson, Aaron Ahmed, I'm Jared Weathers, your handsome and gracious host. Uh, I got a new chair. We'll we'll see you guys uh, next time. Have a good.